amazing people of God, you're welcome to this special edition of Encounters with the Past Saints. Our topic for today is, where is your trust? Where is your trust? This is a rhetorical question for yourself. Our key text is taken from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17, and it says, Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Now onto the background and thoughts on the text. Through the abundance of God's grace, we are blessed. Say that to yourself. Through the abundance of God's grace, I am blessed. Hallelujah. He gives us all things to enjoy. So there's nothing we enjoy that was not given to us by God. Take that into your heart that there is nothing that is given to you that was not given to you by God. It's a fool who believes he stumbled on an opportunity and shot him that shot him to the top and doesn't acknowledge the place of divinity. Yes, diligence is a virtue that makes up the process, but God makes everything beautiful in his time. Hallelujah. Hard work isn't a sin, and being rich isn't against scripture, but trusting in your strength and giving credit to yourself is wrong. Hard work is not a sin. Being rich is not against the scripture. But what is wrong is trusting in your strength. Because even the Bible says, By strength shall no man prevail. So when you trust in your strength, you're doing something wrong. The man who slept and couldn't wake up had a plan. The person who woke up and drove out but died on the road was on an appointment with what he thought would be productive after all. So, are you more mindful than others? The needs of a man aren't as much as he thinks, even though his wants are insatiable. When a man becomes so desperate to make money, he violates his principles and can betray anyone, including the Church of Christ, and even himself, just to grab what he lusts after. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Desperation messes up our confidence in God. Desperation messes up our confidence in God. Say not me. It is okay to think rich, but it is wrong to think you are all by yourself. You are what you are by God's grace. Take this into heart that I am what I am by whose grace? By God's grace. You can see that in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And verses 10. The wise are humble and get richer while the fools show off and celebrate their arrival until they wake up to realize they have lost it all. Now let us look at the application of this text to our daily lives. One mistake and moment of weakness can wreck you and destroy all you have worked for over the years. The only security we have is Christ. The only security, the only safe place we have is Christ Jesus. He is a maker and a keeper of men. He makes glorious destinies out of men. And for as long as this men acknowledge him, he keeps them wasking stronger. As you keep on with your pursuit of destiny, keep in mind that God is your hope and through him you will reach your expected end. Have this in mind, that God is your hope. God is my hope. And through him, you shall reach your expected end, as he promised us in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Don't be carried away by the little things you have seen. There is always more than enough to receive from God by the simple act of acknowledgement. And let us say this prayer together with your right hand lifted up. Say, Heavenly Father, help me to put my trust in you now and always. Amen. Our action point is here and this is what we have to do. Begin your day by being an extension of God's blessing to someone today. Begin your day by being an extension of God's blessing to someone today. 
reach out to someone in need. You can help the person with prayers. You can help the person with gifts. You can help the person with money. Even your presence can be uh, um, a resource or something that somebody needs today. So do that and God bless you. Thank you for tuning in and joining us on this special edition of, it, of Encounters with the Past Seeds. Keep watching Life Center Network. My name is Ebi Corbury and Otobo. And do not forget to like and comment on our social media platform. God bless you. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Life Center Network TV. Keep, Keep watching Life Center, Center Network, Network TV. TV. Your, Your gateway, gateway to possibility. possibility. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.